Hey guys, welcome to Rudra Tech Tutorial and in this chapter 6 of Angular 8 Unit Testing with Jasmine and Kalma, we are going to look at testing string and array. And objective of this video is to test string using matches to be to equal to contain to match. See the difference between to be and to equal. Test arrays using matches to equal and to contain and how to exclude test cases from execution. Now, Starting with testing strings using matcher, I have created a test suit string matcher test and I have created four unit test cases each for each matcher. And first one is to be. To be compares the strings, numbers, and other literals using triple equal to, which compares two values based on their value and their type. Now, here I have created a string variable and assigned it a value hello world here i'm going to assert or expect first str to be hello world and it should return a true value then is to equal matcher the two equal matcher compares using double equal to but it performs a deep copy so two equal to is not only useful for comparing numbers and strings along with that it can also compare arrays objects and other literals. So here as well I have written let first str equal to hello world and expect first str to equal hello world. Now if you look at to be and to equal examples I have taken here both look the same but don't worry I'll give you a detailed explanation how to be and to equal are different from each other. Then the next matcher is to contain. This will help us to identify the substring is present in a string or not. Now, in this case, I have written a unit test case for checking whether a particular string is present in another string. So, I have created a variable first str here and assigned it a value hello world welcome to Rudra Tech 2014. And I am going to expect first str to contain Rudra. So, this will check whether this particular string is present in the this string then is the two match matcher the two match matcher checks whether a string is present in another string using a regular expression now here i have created a variable that has a string this is fourth lane of underworld and i am going to expect message to match slash d plus so this is a regular expression which checks whether numbers are present in our string so here 4 is present so this test case should be executed and be successful then i have also return expect message to match underworld so everything included in to match parenthesis is expected to be a expression that is a regular expression and hence it will try to check whether this underworld word is present in our given string and since it is present, it will return a positive value. Now, let's go and execute this example. I'm going to save it and let's check it on the browser. So, all our test cases have been executed successfully. So, to equal, to contain, to match and to be. All of them are executed successfully. Now, here you can see there are some test cases that have been grayed out. And you can also see here it says it specs zero failures for pending specs. Now this is happening because I have excluded some of the test cases from execution. Now there are in all eight unit test cases that are written out of those four are executed successfully and four are excluded from our execution. Now how do we exclude these test cases is using the keyword x so if you put x before your test suit it will exclude all the test cases from your execution and if i remove it it will execute all those test cases so let's just see what happens here so now you can see eight specs zero failures three spending now, in this case, there are still test cases that have been excluded. 
Now earlier I have put x over here. So all the text cases within this suit have been excluded. And I had al also put x before this unit test case. So x8. This will exclude only this unit test case from execution. And it will execute this unit test case successfully. So you can see here this particular test case has been excluded and this particular test case has been included. So this is how you can include or exclude any test case from execution by putting a X before the test suit or before the unit test case. Now coming back to our matcher and testing strings using these matches. Now here we have used to be to equal to contain or to match to test the string. So this will test your string and check whether a particular string is equal or present in another string. But this will testing only positive. What if I want to test the negative side? That is, I want to check whether this string is not present in the given string. So that can be achieved using the not operator. So here I am going to check whether the given string is not equal to another string. In this case, we can use the not. Now, in order to test not to equal, I have to put not not equal to equal to hello world. And I'm going to put it to two. So, in order to execute it successfully, I have set a different string here from this one, and it should execute it successfully. Now, let's get it from the browser. Here you can see testing string not dot equal for matcher. This has been executed successfully. How is that possible? If we have done here is not. So we can test a positive scenario using two equal and we can also test a negative scenario using not dot two equal. And this not can be used with all the matches that are present. So if I want to check with to be then I just have to put it dot not dot to be. In this way we can test a positive scenario and a negative scenario. And since these two strings are equal, this test is going to fail and give us an error message. See, so not to be has failed and give us an error. Now let's go and see the difference between to be and to equal. So in this case, I am going to put a x here for string test cases so that we can exclude these test cases from execution. And we are going to check what is the difference between to be and to equal. So, so I have removed x from this one and I have created a test suit that will specifically help us to test to be versus to equal. Now in our previous example, we have checked two strings using to be and to equal. Now in this example, we are going to check two objects. So here I have created an object A. Let A val 10 and let B val 10. And I have written first case for expect A to be B. So here I am going to assert that A is to be B. Then I have written another test case for to equal. And in this case I have again copy pasted same objects. Let A 10 and B val 10 and in this case we have written expect a to equal to b so let's go and execute this one now here you can see we have got a failure why we have got a failure because to b is not going to compare two objects it's going to compare only value and their types but it is not going to perform a deep copy hence we have got an error expected object val of 10 to be object value of 10. Tip to check deep equality use to equal instead of to be. Hence we should use to be only with strings and numbers and other literals. But in order to perform deep copy and compare objects and arrays along with strings and numbers we should use to equal. So this is the major difference between these two matches to equal and to be. Now I am going to put an x here. So as to go ahead and test the matches with array. Now we can compare arrays 
or check of element is present in an array using two different matches. First is two equal. Two equal will perform a deep comparison on an array and will check whether the values of array are matching or not. So here I have created an array A which is having value 1, 2, 3 and I am expecting A to equal to and I have given an array within the parenthesis of 2 equal and it should return positive result as these two arrays are equal. So we can use 2 equal to compare arrays and check whether the arrays values are equal or not. Then we can also check whether an array is having a certain element or a value. Now that can be done by using to contain. Here I have taken a array of strings which are having a, b, c, d, f and x, y, z and I am expecting a str, arr that is our array to contain d, e, f. So here we are going to check whether this particular value is present within this array and it should return a positive as this is a, as this array is containing this value. So I am going to save this and let us see what it returns. So here you can see on the array test, testing array using 2 equal is successful along with testing array using 2 contain is successful as well. So this is how you can test the arrays by using 2 equal to compare 2 different arrays and using 2 contain to check whether a value is present within that array or not. So concluding the topic in this video, we have checked how to test strings and arrays in a negative scenario using not, what is the difference between to be and to equal and how to exclude test cases from execution. I hope you have understood this video. If you do, please provide us comments and do subscribe. Thank you.